Is anyone there? Hi. When it comes to electronic music, it's impossible to ignore the influence and impact of Porter Robinson. After many years in the scene and after several classic projects, all in different styles, it's safe to say that Porter is one of the most influential EDM artists of our generation. Despite this, it's safe to say that not every Porter Robinson fan is equal when it comes to knowledge about the artist. That's why today we are going to be looking into an iceberg chart created by Reddit user Josh in the Morning in today's video. While this iceberg was a great start, there were a few topics that I wanted to include in this video that were not available on this chart, and as a result, I'm going to be including some of those in the video as well. One last thing. If you enjoy the video, I would really appreciate a subscription to the channel. And if you don't feel like subscribing yet, I'll make sure to earn it by the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started with the sky portion of the iceberg. Shelter Shelter is a song that was released by Porter Robinson and Maddion in 2016. This collab was a match made in heaven, considering many of the similarities the two artists had in their style. Along with this song came a music video, which was a short film with A1 Pictures and Crunchyroll. This animated film was incredibly emotional, and famously made Pokimane cry live on her stream. This is by far the most popular Porter Robinson track, and if you somehow haven't heard it, here's a short snippet. Worlds is about EDM. Porter Robinson's album Worlds was released in 2014 and was massively successful for Porter, remaining one of his most popular projects to date. While the album is up for interpretation and is very open-ended, there are some narratives that the album goes into that are hard to ignore. The major one is that Worlds is based on Porter's view of EDM at the time and this project was his attempt at breaking past his old heavy sound. This is evident by the harsh contrast and style from his Spitfire EP, which contains super heavy electronic music, while Worlds was more electro-pop based. Virtual Self EP After the release of both Worlds and the track Shelter, Porter experienced burnout due to the exponentially high standard that he was creating for himself. One of his responses to this burnout was to create a new alias to release music under. This was Virtual Self, which had an entirely different sound and aesthetic than Porter Robinson. This EP was 5 tracks long and just a little over 20 minutes long. The most popular track from this EP is Ghost Voices, which we'll play now. Nurture is about Porter's growth. As covered in the virtual self portion, Porter experienced major burnout after the success of both Worlds and Shelter. While Porter would continue making music under the alias Virtual Self and would also try to create more music for the Porter Robinson alias, nothing substantial was released under the Porter moniker for around four years. Porter would eventually break his silence with the track Get Your Wish, a deeply emotional track covering the difficulty of living up to the hype and standards of the EDM community at the time. Future singles from Nurture would also go into the growth Porter experienced over the hiatus, and it is apparent in the album that there were many improvements in both Porter's life and also his body of work. Spitfire EP As covered before, the Spitfire EP was the project Porter released before Worlds. This EP contained six heavy electronic songs, with five remixes following the tracks. Some notable artists featured on this album include Knife Party, Kill the Noise, and Downlink. My personal favorite track from this project is Vandalism, which we'll play now. The Thrill Remix the Thrill is a Nero song released in 2015 on the album Between Two Worlds. Porter Robinson would end up remixing the song, with it surpassing the stream count of the original. Here is the original and the remix. World's Commentary For the Worlds album, Porter decided to allow the listeners to take a look into his creative process by making short commentaries that are available on streaming services. Some of the commentaries are very insightful, some of them have cute moments, and most have a combination of the two. 
If you have the time, I recommend listening to some of them. Fantano World's Hate Popular music critic The Needle Drop, aka Anthony Fantano, is no stranger to Porter's work, having reviewed both Worlds and Nurture. Unfortunately for Porter fans, Fantano was not too impressed with the sound on Worlds, and he would end up scoring it a strong 5. It's just not anything incredibly exciting or refreshing to me in terms of the sound, the songwriting, which is why I'm feeling a strong 5 to a light 6 on this thing. This was upsetting to fans of EDM, as most believe that it was one of the most refreshing spins on the genre in a long time. As a result, this review m remains one of Fantano's most hated to this day. Thankfully, Fantano would end up giving Porter's album Nurture a decent 8 score, placing it in Fantano's top 10 albums of the year. Just a positive, glowing, inspired feeling, which I hope if you listen to this, you get from it as well. I'm feeling a decent too strong 8 on this one, Tran. Even though some have come to forgive Fantano for his atrocity of a score on Worlds, some still have yet to do so, with the review of Worlds containing more dislikes than likes to this day. Even Porter seems to hold a small grudge, as Fantano's review of Worlds is present in some of his concerts, mocking the low score the album received. Coachella Main Stage Porter Robinson has made numerous appearances at Coachella, some including Maddion, who collaborated with Porter on Shelter. If you were a fan of Porter's recent concerts like Second Sky, these are definitely worth a watch, and you might find yourself binging them all on YouTube. Flickr Translated Lyrics On Porter's album Worlds, there are many different types of vocals and vocal styles. But perhaps the most interesting are those in the track Flicker. This track can be jarring for many listeners, as this is the only track on the album that contained vocals in Japanese. Upon translating the lyrics of the hook, you are greeted with the phrase, I'm trying to find just, I'm trying to find just, I'm trying to find just, what's really important to me. Which according to Porter was the result of throwing arbitrary phrases into Google Translate. Here's the hook for those who are unfamiliar. Rika and Blossom On the Nurture album, it is impossible to ignore the track Blossom. The rest of the album is incredibly upbeat, almost containing a childlike innocence and optimism, but this track is much more laid back and sweet. This track means a lot to Porter, and he ended up doing a genius interview where he explained the story of the track. He goes into the fact that he has never really made a love song in the traditional sense, and this was his attempt at making one. This song is dedicated to his fiancée Rika, who he had been dating for around four years at the release of the track. Here's a snippet of the track if you haven't heard it. Grammy Nomination In January of 2019, Porter Robinson received a Grammy nomination. This award was for the best dance recording. The track that led to this nomination was Ghost Voices, which was one of the tracks in the Virtual Self EP. Despite this positive Grammy experience, Porter also had to deal with a fairly disappointing Grammy result. When it came to the nominations for Best Electronic Album of 2021, Nurture was not even included in the nominations. This rubbed Porter and many fans the wrong way. While this is really unfortunate for those of us who want Porter to get recognized, at least he can move forward knowing that the fans love the album and all the work he has done so far. Hear the Bells cover One of the tracks from Worlds is Hear the Bells, which is a fun little track that features imaginary cities on the vocals, with the hook being, Can't you hear the bells sing in Cologne? You won't hear it on the radio. Oddly enough, this is the exact same hook that Imaginary Cities use in their song Bells of Cologne. Once you listen to both tracks, it becomes pretty obvious that Hear the Bells is a cover of Imaginary Cities' Bells of Cologne. Have a listen for yourself. Clarity by Zed 
Clarity by Zed and Foxes is an absolutely massive dance track that most people who have barely dipped their toes into the genre have heard. But did you know Porter Robinson helped with the track? Porter Robinson is credited with helping write the song, along with three others. If you're like me, you probably had no idea that Porter Robinson had any influence on the track. But you can look for yourself, he has the writing credit. Here's Clarity if you have yet to hear it. Full Moon Lullaby Full Moon Lullaby is a bonus track off of Nurture that was only available in Japan. This track was a collab between this person and her producer, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. When asked why Full Moon Lullaby did not make the American release, Porter said, I ultimately decided that I didn't feel it was right for the American release, just because I wanted Nurture to feel as personal as possible, and as kind of driven by my voice and my feelings as possible. And having it written in another language, I almost felt like I couldn't control what was being said enough, but it had enough of that nurture flavor and palette that I felt like it made a really good bonus track, because I felt otherwise, there was probably no way it was going to see the light of day. Here's a snippet of the track. Lil B Porter Freestyle Porter Robinson is a huge fan of rapper Lil B and his cat Kiki. In Porter's interview with Anthony Fantano, he goes into his beliefs of Lil B's innovations to the rap game and praises the artist for his many contributions to hip-hop. One year for Christmas, Porter's girlfriend Rika messaged Lil B through Twitter and asked if he would make a freestyle for Porter Robinson. He ended up following through and creating the track Porter Robinson Based Freestyle, which Porter has since incorporated into his live show Secret Sky. DJ Not Porter Robinson In 2020, remixes of Porter Robinson's Get Your Wish were released. Along with an absolutely incredible remix by Anamanaguchi that every Porter fan should listen to, there was also a remix by the artist DJ Not Porter Robinson. We aren't 100% sure the true identity of DJ Not Porter Robinson, but judging by the credits of the track, it seems likely that DJ Not Porter Robinson is in fact Porter Robinson himself. Echo Wraith Echo Wraith was the alias Porter Robinson used to use before settling on the name Porter Robinson. Porter claims that he chose this name so that when he googled it, people could actually find his music. The biggest track he released under this alias was Booming Track, which will be played here. Shepherdess Shepherdess is a bonus track on the album Worlds that came with the box edition, which will be covered later. This track is really cool and atmospheric, calling back to the old days of the Spitfire EP while also adding that world splash. Despite me enjoying the track, I can see why it wasn't included on the Worlds track list, as it is extremely reminiscent of the sound Porter was trying to escape from on this record. Here's a small snippet of the track. DJ Pitaro DJ Pitaro is a character that as far as I know is created by Porter himself and it has since been incorporated into some of his live shows, most notably Secret Sky. Some of the shows and bits that DJ Pitaro have are pretty funny and DJ Pitaro also has a Twitter account that I recommend checking out. DJ Pitaro has 13 different kinds of conditioner and shampoo in the shower but only one bottle of body wash, and it's running out. Mike Wazowski. And I don't even know if I should say this. I really don't like, I'm not a big fan of Mike Wazowski, okay? I don't like his one eye. I just think Mike Wazowski is a gross dude. And it's partially because there are all these videos several years ago of like Mike Wazowski mascots, and they would fall over all the time. They would constantly, like, just bust their own shit up, and they would always land on their giant eye. Like, they would fall over and just scrape their eye on the ground, and something about the design of that creature is just so horrific to me. KKB Musician Sample 
On Porter's album Nurture, one of the many standout tracks is Musician, which features an extremely chopped up sample for the hook. After the release of the single, Porter would make a video detailing how this hook was made, revealing that it contained an unreleased demo with Kiro Kiro Benito from 2019. Take a listen. Amy Milan Shelter Sample Similarly to the Musician Sample, Porter utilizes chopped up vocals for the hook on Shelter. These vocals are from Amy Milan, who did the vocals on Porter's track Divinity. After listening to both tracks, you can definitely hear the similarities. Have a listen. Porter hates Lionhearted. Porter has been cited saying that Lionhearted is his least favorite track on Worlds. In the interview with Fantano, he says that he no longer likes some of the elements of the song, with it feeling too indie to really feel connected to the rest of the album. My favorite, like the song Lionhearted, um, is probably the one that makes the most use of the like gang vocal idea. I stopped playing Lionhearted so long ago, and I think the, the moments of Worlds that are really special are like the goodbye to a world sad machine divinity the ones that didn't lean so much on the like indie sound and fully embrace this fusion between the sort of video game soundtracky stuff and the dance music stuff that's where i feel like the magic of that album really was porter has completely cut out lionhearted from his shows along with this on the commentary album that porter made for worlds there is no mention or appearance of lionhearted at all giving more credence to this hatred this is one that I don't entirely get, as I personally think Lionhearted is a great track, but to each their own. Fresh Static Snow vs Blossom Fresh Static Snow is one of the tracks from Worlds, and contains some of Porter's saddest songwriting to date. The hook is sung by Vocaloid bot Ivana, and goes as follows. You'd fit perfectly to me, we'd end our loneliness, melt this curse away. Though I'll never know your name, I'll cry for you the same. Porter goes into detail about how devastating these lyrics are and the commentary of the track. The, the likelihood that your best, that you'll ever meet the person who would make you the happiest is just infinitesimal. You know, it's, there's a very, very small chance of that. And, and, and if you really consider that idea that that person is out there and exists and is walking and is like, you know, eating their breakfast cereal or whatever right now, looking all cute <laughs> and... And, you know, the notion that you'll never know each other, that really made me sad, I think. Luckily for Porter, he would release a song on Nurture that would directly respond to the message of this song. As mentioned earlier, Blossom is a track dedicated to his fiance Rika, containing extremely deep lyrics about mortality and the fear of losing each other. This track is fascinating when looking through the view of fresh static snow, as it appears that Porter has found that person that would melt his loneliness. Fresh Static Snow was my favorite track off of Worlds because of the relatability of the lyrics as well as the amazing sound of the track. What this ultimately shows me is that maybe one day all of us will find our blossom and have our loneliness ended, no matter how unfathomably small the odds are. Mariah Carey GTFO Mariah Carey is an incredibly well-known artist, especially around Christmas time. With this being the case, I'm sure many of you would be surprised to know that Mariah Carey sampled from Porter Robinson. On Mariah Carey's track GTFO from the album Caution, there is a very noticeable sample taking place. Have a listen.
Personally, after listening to Goodbye to a World for so many years, it's difficult to listen to this track and not laugh, but I respect the fact that Mariah used the instrumental on her album and put a different spin on it. It's also important to note that Porter got a production credit on this song. Can always has been and always will be. Mark was diagnosed with something I'd never heard of called Burkitt's lymphoma. One of Mark's doctors was Dr. Kate Westmoreland, who had just returned from Malawi. Burkitt's lymphoma is like incredibly rare in, in high income countries, but it's really common in countries like Malawi where malaria is still prevalent. In the US, the survival rate for Burkitt's lymphoma is around 90%, which is really good, but in Malawi, it's more like 29%. And compounding that tragedy is the fact that this primarily affects pediatric patients and adolescents, children and teenagers. We sort of decided to partner up and work together to create the Robinson Malawi Fund, which is a, it's a charitable fund that we founded in partnership with UNC to help improve outcomes for, for children and teenagers in Malawi with Burkitt's lymphoma. And this is, this is my very favorite part of the whole story. So we did the first year of this, 2019 at Second Sky. We raised, after I matched y'all's donations, a total of $154,000 and this is so awesome. So that amount of money was able to cover the direct patient care costs, basically all the chemotherapy drugs and supplementary care medications for all of the pediatric and adolescent cases of Burkitt's lymphoma in Malawi for two years. If you wish to donate to the Malawi Fund, there will be a link in the description. Porter Leaks. This topic is pretty open-ended, but essentially some of Porter's music was released in a Dropbox, including demos of old songs, live edits of songs, and songs that were never released. There are plenty of uploads on YouTube with some of these leaked songs, but I don't want to play any of them in this video just to be safe. All you need to know is that you can find them if you want to find them. Explicit content. Did you know that across all of Porter's released music, he has never heard swearing or singing profanities? Despite this, there is still an exception where profanity is used in a track. This is on the track yeah, I'm not gonna say that. On this track, Porter samples a video made by bum number one named Nama Sensei's Japanese Lessons. And keep taking the motherfucking thing until you get 100% in the bitch. Keep taking the motherfucking thing until you get 100% in the bitch. As explicit as the sample is, it's pretty funny hearing it next to all of Porter's other stuff, since it seems so out of place. Half-Life Streams Porter Robinson is an artist that is very connected to his community, and he even live streams on Twitch from time to time. Some of his most popular streams include the VR chat and Half-Life streams. The Half-Life streams are full of hilarious moments, including the Mike Wazowski hatred origin story, and I highly recommend checking out some of the highlights from the streams on YouTube. Ghost Voices was an accident. I cannot find any info on this anywhere, so take this portion with a grain of salt. According to a reddit comment under the iceberg thread, Ghost Voices was the result of Porter randomly hitting notes on his keyboard, where he would accidentally play the hook for Ghost Voices. Sorry that I couldn't find more on this topic, but I still thought it was interesting enough to put in the video. Last Minute Nurture Songs After the release of Nurture, Porter would make a tweet revealing the order in which he had started on and finished the tracks that would be on Nurture. There are plenty of interesting stats in this tweet, including the fact that Something Comforting was the first track that was worked on, which makes sense considering the similarities in the track to Porter's past work. Possibly the most interesting statistic is the fact that Trying to Feel Alive and Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do were both started in 2020 and Trying to Feel Alive was not finished until August of that year. It's very difficult to imagine the album without this track closing it off, but luckily Porter finished it and added it to the track list. Musician Breaking Nurture's Rules I was like, you know, Nurture is all about like organic drums and stuff like that, but Musician, it's almost like, it's almost just like, I'm breaking all the rules that I've set up for the album and I'm just going to have fun with it. Like I wanted there to be no super saws, which is a, is a prominent trance sound. I, w I wanted to not use like 808 drums because I felt like that was like too dancey. Like I wanted the drum timbres of Nurture to be sort of unidentifiable and like somewhere between acoustic and EDM. And, and then musician, I just threw all that out, on, out the window because I was feeling so like self-confident. Photo with Avicii Avicii was an electronic pop artist who tragically passed away in 2018 due to- Avicii was no stranger to Porter Robinson. 
having met him in person along with Zed. Here is the photo, I couldn't find a better resolution of it, so if you end up finding that, let me know in the comments. World's Box Set The World's Box Set was a limited edition release that contained a bunch of cool worlds related things on it. According to the listing, it contained a CD of worlds, a sticker, a necklace, a bonus remix CD, a Lionhearted vinyl that contained bonus track Shepherdess, and a set of lithographs that contained artwork by Porter and all of the lyrics to the songs. Seems like a pretty good deal for 50 USD, but unfortunately this set is no longer sold. Air Online Production In 2019, Porter Robinson would help produce the track Air Online off of Anamata Gucci's album USA. Anamata Gucci and Porter Robinson have been collaborating for many years now, with some of my favorite remixes of all time coming from Anamata Gucci's takes on Porter's work. Here is a short snippet of the track. After listening to the track with that context, Porter's influence on the track is pretty evident. Bon Iver Porter Sample During the rollout of Nurture, Porter put out a playlist of cherished music that really inspired him throughout the process of the album creation. Featured in this playlist was artist Bon Iver, who had a track that Porter really enjoyed named I Am I. According to a user on Reddit, this track actually samples Clarity by Zed, which as previously covered, was a track that Porter contributed to. It's just crazy how Porter was influenced by a song that used his work and he didn't even realize. Masakatsu Tagagi Wind Tempos Takagi Masakatsu is a Japanese artist who Porter claims to be a massive inspiration. In 2018, Porter would end up meeting with Tagaki, where he would talk to him, listen to him play, and play some music with him. Porter showed him what was nurture at the time, and Tagaki ended up giving Porter a USB of ambient Japanese music. Porter would go on to sample an incredibly short snippet of Tagaki playing a toy piano, cementing the visit into his album. Get Your Wish Art There are two things worth mentioning for this final topic. The first is that the art in the Get Your Wish music video strongly resembles the art used in Porter Robinson's classic song, Language. Along with the release of Get Your Wish came an interactive game that is available on Porter's website. This is an interactive game that you can play on your phone, and it's honestly pretty cool. The artworks for the singles after Get Your Wish also included the squiggly line design, which is also pretty cool. Thank you all so much for watching to the end. I started this project about a month ago just for my PC to break, so I hope that you enjoyed and consider hitting the like button and sharing with a friend. This is the only the beginning of the year of the Quirke, so I hope you stick around for the next upload. See you guys next time! Set the